there we go. It looks like Johnny Legend is playing Joker. So this is an interesting matchup between two Smash newcomers. Yep. Uh, I feel like it's going to be an interesting match by itself because uh, K. Oh, I guess uh, I think... to a different stage. Oh, they, I guess they meant to. Do... Oh no. Okay. Uh, I'm so used to seeing PS2 as the starting stage because it's SoCal and it's MSM, but uh, hey, sometimes in the rare occasions where players actually want to play elsewhere, we're gonna see a different stage for game number one. I uh. I have to imagine uh, Kobo probably banned PS2 just because uh, I don't know a Joker that hasn't spent a considerable amount of time labbing all those drag down combos to use the uh, PS2 plaques to get like a you know, up smash finish. So Yeah, as you can see here, he's switching stage. Uh, <laughs> maybe he accidentally left PS2? I mean, that, I would think that's the only reason why I picked PS2. But here we go. Game number one between Johnny Legend and Kobol. Hopefully it doesn't go back to PS2. <laughs> oh, we're sorry on town. Let's go. Very interesting pick here. Alright, using the crown. He did get he did get the e -haw off though. Nice up air. Miss whiffing the second one though. Using his uh, projectiles a lot though. Nice rebels guard there. Down throw to an up air to an Yeah, the up big throw. drag down combos coming out from Johnny Ledge and the Kobo man can sneak in the musket. While oh, trying to use the Nair to end Johnny Ledge. That's so frustrating because here will Nair, especially I think it was buffed in one of the more recent patches. It's a really effective tool for that. But here come the down guns. Every Joker's best friend for edge guarding. Yeah, also another thing, K Rule's up B is just really annoying. Like, it, it, kind of, it can kind of just get back to stage from almost anywhere if you think about it. The Joker, especially when this guy's friend, Arsenio, has the power to deal with the helicopter. Big dash attack coming through for Copal, Johnny Legend surviving. Oh, Copal right now, does he shot the cannon the other way and was trying to uh, hold down the suck button, but uh, nice closing out the stock with the back throw. That, that, that launch angle for down throw is ridiculous. <laughs> that percent, like, what do you do? <laughs> I know, right? Shooting at the cannon. Oh, using the crown to protect himself so he can get a guaranteed pass to the, to back to stage. Nice up throw oh, to, follow, to follow him up. Arsene this is out, string, though. Yeah, this string from Copal, though, that was like 0 to 70. He's like, ah, you don't have Arsene yet. And Johnny Legend's like, let me just land my good friend. Yeah, Johnny Legend Coppola getting now. back to stage with Arsene. All right, Copal right now is kind of staying back. Oh, oh that back air coming out from Johnny Legend, though, to close out uh, Copal's first stock. Copal's stalling on the Angel platform, which is kind of interesting. Oh, nice forward air coming out. He's trying to wait out Arsene. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, the dash attack. You actually caught. I think Johnny Legend was going for a grab. It might have been a miss in, but... but... All that said and done, Kobo with a firm full stock lead here. Can Johnny Legend steal it back though right now? He's playing the Master Thief, so. Kobo getting Kobo. back to stage. He's having a little bit of a hard time, but that's okay. Losing his crown though. Nice side be coming out from John Johnny Legend. Oh, oh nice counter. counter though. That was really good. But again, Kobo being sent off stage and Johnny Legend extending this ledge trap. All right, the, the crown is on the platform on the right side. Uh, is he going to fall through? Oh, he was trying to bait him. You can see that. <laughs> yeah. Kobo looking for a little bit of cheese, trying to close out game one. The back throw, is he going to try and get it here? Oh, he might. Oh, he, oh. he, he might want to extend that just long enough, but Johnny Legend still managed to escape, and now we're in a tight stock situation here. Oh, nice so back. Ben. Oh, my God. He's put him at 60 in the blink of an eye. Wow, that that was extremely fast. Nice play from the from Johnny Legend, but he still had that poison damage coming up, bringing him to 92. Now 110 has to get back to stage. Nice Ooh. fall down the back here, right there to finish out his last dunk. That was beautiful play from Johnny Legend. A blink of an eye, Johnny Legend erased a two stock deficit, and 
you can say he managed to steal game one from Copal. I think it works the context of talking about Joker and the thief. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I get, it. I get it. Yeah, that was but, good. Uh, that was good. Uh, I was just uh, just expertly well played and really patient. Uh, you know, when you can erase that kind of lead from a, against a character that can really just absolutely hammer you in one or two blows to to take your last stock. It requires a lot of a uh, lot of nerve, a lot of you gotta steal yourself, and so I, I was well, really well played, Johnny Legend. Here we go, game number two, and I think we're gonna go run it right back to town. Yep. I was actually really surprised from that first game that Johnny Legend was able to take it because, like, I mean, you really can't count out Joker even though he's at high percent because Arsene could come out at any yeah. moment if you think about it. Absolutely. Arsene is a player's best friend in that kind of situation. Well, let's see. We saw both players pretty much go back and forth in game one and get a lot of real cool combo strings. I hope we get to see more of that here in game two. Uh, nice using the gun downwards. Are right, getting back to stage right now. Copal right now, is, he's, he's getting it. Johnny Legend to 69% though. Arsene is out though, he's gotta be careful. Oh, he took his crown though. Yeah, and he can't get the crown back. Really, really good by Johnny Legend just to you know, play around crown, but oh, he did not escape that grab. Copal has a chance to maybe try and take this one. You can see that Copal doesn't feel comfortable going for more of the riskier edge guards that Hero has, like the lights drop back. What happened? I, what was he that? Went, <laughs> he actually accidentally uh, went diagonally right. I think he was trying to avoid that down air so he didn't get spiked, but I think he went too much to the right and wasn't able to make it backstage. Wow, and uh, you know, Johnny Legend's follies in Copal's game right now with the stock lead. But again, this game's taking place mostly primarily on ledge with Copal being stuck at ledge for most of it. Oh, down, uh, down throw to forward air. Our set, uh, the Rebel engage is full now. Our Downer. sends out. Oh, and the patience from Copal to get the read. Most wow. Of time, most of the time, K Rule will fish for a direct response after getting the um, the first hit of that, but instead he patiently waiting out the down tilt. That's crazy. Yeah, that was a very good play from Copal. Oh, nice tech there though. Getting back to stage with the forward air. Oh, oh nice uh, spot dodge to down smash. Getting. Oh, he's dead. Oh my oh. goodness. Wow, and Copal. He used he used Copal used the neutral air's hit stun to finish off Johnny Legend's last stock. That yeah. That we I just witnessed a three stock. Game crossing LLC fro and Mighty Man two did you bring out the future? Mighty Man's the future. Let me tell you, I'm a I'm an old salty dog. <laughs> <laughs> but that was quite the response from Copal in game number two, wouldn't you say so, Mighty Man? Yeah, uh, that that first game that since Johnny Legend was able to steal it, that fire that fired Copal up and he dominated that second game. That's just what happens sometimes in Smash is like you can just make just one or two mistakes and it snowballs. And unlike game one where Johnny Legend had a response, um, Copal made sure not to let him get back into that one. He was like, nah, we're not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I was I was actually surprised that he survived that. Like, I think it was one forty five or one fifty five. It was really high percent, even oh, though for, for was it like arson back air? I think. Yeah, you're right. That was actually pretty. Yeah, pretty that was. Oh, oh, Johnny Wario? Legend switching to Wario. Maybe looking for more reliable, non arsen dependent kill power. I'm not quite sure, but let's just see if the character counterfeit is going to work here. And we're on PS2. Interesting. Obviously, every player's best friend, PS2. <laughs> oh, here we go right now. Tyler with the, the jump reading, the back air. Look at these back airs. You don't see Wario using back air pretty early on like this that often, but. Johnny Legend using it to ledge trap Copal and put him at 70. Dang, Johnny Legend right now bringing him all the way up from, seven, from 0 to 70 without getting touched once. N uh, nice double neutral air using the down tilt and another neutral air coming out. Wow. That's really yeah, good. Jo Johnny Legend sticking really close to Copal and harassing him with all these you know, close range here. Her, her box that Wario has. Yeah, also since uh, K. Rool has some ranged abilities that uh kind of 
not not 100 percent but it kind of gets his ability a little bit of his ability to fight at extremely close range but he's getting back to stage pretty well at sitting at 145 if he can somehow get a uh get a forward smash off pretty close to ledge he should be able to close out johnny legend's first stock but right, right now johnny right legend now. isn't letting him having it at all no but oh here we go couple's driving he's got he's got just enough space but he couldn't avoid the back air rising back air from johnny legend is going to take that first stop all right the crown sitting on the left of the stage oh my goodness wow i really like how johnny legend's playing this he's so aggressive right now with warriors normals yeah N nice dash attack Ooh, trying to get that uh forward air he couldn't avoid the musket. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, no. There's oh, no way. Roll. Oh, dang! Using that neutral air to his advantage. Nice dash attack. Almost getting the waft though. Let's see how key that half waft is gonna be. Oh my oh, goodness! Good He's using from, those from... back airs Whoa. like there's no tomorrow. Couple just had enough uh, propeller juice to get back, I guess, but. Johnny Legend did take care of that second stock with a big F tilt hand, and right now Copal has quite the hill to climb. Yeah, right now uh, Johnny Legend's doing really good. Actually, I didn't expect this much from his Wario. I thought this was like possibly a secondary. Yeah, right now he's playing as a first class character, and just being like, you know what? Everyone said this character was nerfed. I'll show you otherwise. I know, right? <laughs> Sakurai bear. says he's nerfed. I say otherwise. <laughs> um, it, it just again, he's. He, I think he seems to like be zeroing in on Copa wanting to jump from ledge a lot. Cause he just seems to be reacting to it back air and fair a lot. Ooh, jumping over that cannonball. Nice neutral air coming out. Oh, the way the roll, but the crown catches the roll. Oh, missing that side tilt as well. Using that forward air, but the super armor can't really do anything with the side V. Nice back air coming out. He might be able to pull off another one. Oh, oh there's here. lightning. Oh, and down deep! He can walk that deep? Are you kidding me? I don't think that was the I think it was back air again. He just kept on fishing. Oh, wait. My bad. I Yeah, that was probably back air because I thought it was waft because he got launched upward, but they might have traded. 